Hey everyone, this is Scotty Wick, uh, back here to record a video to tell you about Orbital Pinball and the Orbital Framework, tell you what it is, why you should care, uh, and, uh, and uh, well, or why you shouldn't care, really, and uh, kind of go through that. So I'm actually going to jump back here, um, jump out of, out of uh, Visual Pinball there, and show you the initial what we have. So let's also open up uh, what we get whenever we install this. Um, all right, so what you'll download from the link at orbitalpin.com, um, the framework file, you can, uh, I unzipped mine here to this folder. It comes with this orbital folder, orbital ultra DMD, um, and then it'll come with your orbital file as well as this templates file um, and a screen settings file, which if you have your B2S already set up, then that's fine. Um, what you'll get the orbital file, this is your uh, pinup folder. Uh, and so you'll need, things you need to be able to run this is uh, Visual Pinball 10 or X, whatever, uh, in the latest beta version, ideally, because it's what you should be working in. Um, and you can find that at vpforums.org. Uh, and you'll need the pinup system uh, because all the back glass is going to be done uh, in an active back glass. Uh, you can find that at vpinball.com. And then the last thing is Ultra DMD. Um, you actually don't have to have this, uh, but if you want to have uh, compatibility for people who have traditional DMD displays, then you will want this. Um, and you can download that. Uh, there's a couple threads on VP forums. The actual website doesn't have it anymore. Um, but so once you get that installed, you'll have those folders. Uh, you can download the Orbital Framework from orbitalpin.com, my site. And then um, you'll get these folders. What you'll need to do is drop that Orbital folder in your pinup system, pop videos, and then you'll just drop it in there. That'll give you the fonts and, and the frame, the rest of that good stuff. All right, so the other things that you'll get as opposed to before we even get into the rest of, of what the framework is, uh, you'll get these templates, which are for the back glass. Um, you actually, this back glass video template is for After Effects. Um, so if you have After Effects and you want to run your videos through there, this template's gonna be set up and ready for you to very easily drop in uh, 1080p or 4K videos uh, and make a sweet back glass. The backlist, this is your framework file, and there's a Photoshop file. Logo, that's just my Orbital logo if you wanted to use it for anything. Uh, the overlay, this is the uh, overall back glass. And then the play field in 4K, which is pretty neat because that's going to have all our plastic inserts. All right. So what is it? Why should you care? Why should you not care? Orbital framework. Uh, so what this is, is this is the same basic table, if I was here in Visual Pinball and I said I wanted to do a new, you have blank or example. Um, the problem with the example table is that it doesn't have anything for us who want to make um, original tables, who want to write our own code. There's no one to four player. There's none of the stuff that goes into actually making an original table. And a lot of the base of that is, is kind of complex. Uh, and, and will generally be enough of a hurdle that people will just say, you know what, screw it, I'm not even gonna try. So what Orbital Pinball is, is it takes that example table and it turns it into a fully functional one to four player scorekeeping table, high scores, um, has all that good stuff, has a back class that scores go on, has a DMD that scores go on, all that stuff out of the gate in the script um, so that you guys can uh, get started you can have a bunch of great stuff to work from. So let's let's go ahead and look at what that looks like, um, and um, and then we can kind of talk about what we're looking at, at there. So when you load this up, you should get uh, not only your back class there, your pup pinup back class. Um, so let's go ahead and do this, but you should get a ultra DMD, um, and the table will automatically go into attract mode um, and this has the RGB lighting um, so you'll notice it's going through the rainbow attract mode there 
Um, and on the left, we have our traditional uh, 3D primitive items. So we've got flippers uh, and then bumper caps. Uh, and on the right, we have a bunch of additional ones, like uh, we have a dugout, uh, we have up here fluppers, uh, really awesome uh, domes. We've got um, we've got bucks or kickouts or dugouts. We've got hit targets. We've got screws. We've obviously got a light a light here with a kind of a torch on it. Um, and so you've got a lot of the best 3D elements that are out there that people are using on every table. Those are in here, um, textured out, ready to go that you can drop them in. Um, and so if we wanted to start this, so I'm just going to go ahead and hit one. Uh, you'll notice here it's going to bring in my ball launch. You can see I have uh, a DMD there. I've got a ball out here over on a back class. You can see we have player one. I don't have any score yet. Let's go ahead and hit it around a little bit. All right, so you can see we're keeping score there. Let's add another player. And what do we do here? Oh, I've got some, I've got some old elements on there. I guess I need to move, <laughs> but I can bounce the ball around. Let's see if it tilts out. Um, so you have those things too. You have tilt uh, baked in there, multiple players, tilt, all that good stuff. You can see, uh, I guess I have some elements on this version of the table I need to take out there, um, but we have, uh, our flipper, we have our lighting. You see our lighting went to, uh, our GI lighting went to overall there. Um, and so you've got a whole bunch of starting to make your own table in there. Um, you still obviously need to do your own layout and everything else, but you've got all these sweet inserts in 4K, the table in 4K, you've got a video, uh, you've got background, back class that works that you can uh, design out, you've got DMD that works, it's baked in there. Um, and so Orbital Framework really is, it's what I built my table on, Stranger Things, uh, Stranger Edition, and all the rest of that um, has been built on it. So this really just kind of helps you get going. If this is the first video you've seen, and all of this in general looks really intimidating, go back and watch the rest of the videos in my series. At least watch the first couple. And that'll really get your head around what we're looking at here. Uh, if you've already seen those, then, and you've watched a, quite a few of them, then it's time to go download this framework, get it up, get started building your table. This should help you get way ahead of the game really quickly. I hope uh, you all enjoy this. Please let me know feedback, thoughts, questions, concerns, all the rest of that good stuff you have. I will, I will attempt to keep adding to this, changing, making it better, and, and hopefully with your help, uh, and everyone's help out there, we can make this thing really awesome. Um, and, uh, and yeah, so anyways, thanks again for your watching, and I hope this helps. All right, thanks, bye.